Today I'll be showing you a look for uh, girls who uh, generally wear glasses or sometimes contact lenses but this look would mostly be for people who wear glasses. So what I have heard from a lot of girls is that uh, when they wear glasses they don't think that their makeup would show and their eyes would tend to look a little smaller and uh, they just don't pay much attention to their eyes but yes they would wear maybe a lip gloss or something just as simple as that. So today I'll be showing you how to achieve a look for people who wear uh, glasses, any kind of glasses for that matter, rimless or a full frame or anything that's very funky and trendy, this look will look good on anybody who wears glasses. So to start off, I'll be using a paint pot by MAC, it's in the shade called Groundwork. Just taking a little bit onto the ring finger, turn this one, this. and applying it all over the eyes just to give it a nice creamy base so that the eyeshadow that we're going to use next will stick on to it well. For the eyeshadow, I'll be using a color called Woodwinked by MAC with a Lord & Berry number 815 brush. Um, any eyeshadow brush will work well. It just needs to be nice and flat. Um, and the color that I'll be using is a bronzish gold, not specifically a gold but I think more on the brown, bronzish tone and taking a little bit of the color on the brush dabbing off any excess because this color generally tends to fall out a lot and applying it just until the crease line so in case if you have eyes similar to Vibhash eye shape just this area of close to the lid and the crease is enough for you to apply eyeshadow because if you go higher it would tend to look a little out of place so just stick on to the area which is already predefined now when you wear a shimmery color it would tend to highlight your eye meaning that it would bring forward any feature on which you apply any shimmery kind of a, a kind of an eyeshadow. Now just taking a MAC 217 blending brush, I'll just be running it across the eyeshadow that I've just applied so that I get rid of any lines or unnecessary marks that, that were there when I was applying the eyeshadow. For the outer corner of the eye, which would mean just this little bit portion. I'll be using a darker colour which is called Embark again by MAC taking a little bit of it on the same 217 fluffy MAC brush and just applying a little bit on the outer corner now in case if you feel that um, doing so much of this as in using two colours is going to be tough it's going to be a, a very strenuous task for you because you'll be in a rush early in the morning leaving for office just apply one color and it will look perfectly fine and if during the day you feel that you'd want to uh, change the look a little bit go on and apply a darker brown at the edge just like what I have done and it would change the entire look now for a highlighter I'll be using rice paper by MAC with a clean blending brush and just applying a little bit of it under the brow area Now I'll just fill in a little bit of the eyebrows. In case if you do have gaps, make sure that you are filling it with the help of either a pencil or an eyeshadow. But something that's very similar to your eyebrow colour as well as sort of kind of matches your hair colour. Because if you use a black, uh, it's going to really stand out and look very artificial and people will for sure know that you have done something to your eyebrows. Now taking a little bit of the eyeshadow in the name of cork with an angular brush and without applying a lot of pressure just running it through to just fill into areas where you feel that there are gaps in the eyebrows not everybody has gaps in between some people have very thick eyebrows already so those you can just leave them untouched but in case if you feel you have a little bit of gap make sure that you are filling it because the look is entirely complete only when you fill in the eyebrows like even if you have a look in a photograph of yours that was shot previously and if your eye makeup is very nice and you have a little bit of gaps in between for your eyebrows it would tend to look very very strange now when we have Vibha wear her glasses 
and if we notice how she looks, how her eyes look uh, through the glasses, it is the eyeshadow is very well visible still. Um, so something that shimmery in a colour which is similar to this or even a pinkish gold would still do, anything that, ha that has a lot of shine will be seen through the lens of your frame. Now instead of using a kajal, I'll just be using the same eyeshadow that I had used for the outer corner which was the embark. I'll use the same thing to apply it as an eyeliner on top of the eye as well as smudging a little bit of it below the eye. So using the same angular brush, using the embark eyeshadow and applying it gently as an eyeliner. Now in case if you choose on using a black eyeliner, make sure that the line is extremely thin because if your eye shape is similar to Vibha's, um, your eyeliner would fill up the entire eyelid and your eyes would tend to shrink a little bit and uh, your eyeshadow will not be visible at all. But the good thing about using a brown eyeliner is that uh, you can take care of precision and it's not a very dark colour so your eyes will still look exactly the same with or without the eyeliner. So it's totally up to you whether you want to use it or not. Now applying the same eyeshadow just a little bit below at the edges just to add a little bit of depth and dimension. Now for the inner corner again uh, to make your eyes appear to look a little bigger Add a pop of colour, the same colour we used on top in the inner corner, woodwinked. I'll be taking it with the angular brush and applying very little in the inner corner. I'll be using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara from above as well as below. Now Vipa's lashes are a little shorter so applying mascara and then wearing glasses will still be fine. Now in case if you feel that your lashes are too long and they would disturb your vision when you're wearing your glasses, you could skip using mascara but at least curl your lashes because even that would make a difference. It would open up your eyes. Now that we've done with the eyes, I'll be moving on to skin. Uh, to start off, I'll be using the MAC Prep Plus Prime Face Primer. Taking a little bit of it onto my ring finger and middle finger. And massaging it all over Vipa's face. Now what a primer does is that it acts like a barrier between your skin and foundation. It makes your foundation last for very long and also it makes the application of your foundation very smooth. So in case if you are not using a foundation, on a daily basis you would only have to use a moisturizer and the primer would only be specifically for the time when you would be using your foundation. Next up for uh, the foundation, I will just be using the Studio Fix Powder Foundation. Uh, for her because again keeping uh, where she'll be going which is to the office keeping that in mind uh, nothing heavy will do uh, in case if you want to even skip foundation you could even do that and just wear like a tinted moisturizer uh, in case if you feel your skin is feeling too dry or else even using a studio fix foundation powder along with the fluffy brush which is the blush brush like the MAC 129 anything that's fluffy is good and just taking a little bit onto the brush and giving the face a smooth wash of just the foundation powder will still do the trick. This way you're not loading up your face and you're not making it look like you have a lot of things on. Now in case if after office you are going somewhere, maybe like for a function or a dinner or something and you want to improvise on your foundation, just take the same foundation with a sponge and dab it all over your face, it would tend to look a little bit more heavier. Now because this is a powder foundation already, we don't need to apply an additional powder over this. So this will be your 
So this will be the only thing that you would have to apply on your face. For the blush, I'll be using the BND Professional brand in a peachish color with the same fluffy brush and applying very little onto the cheeks just to give it a little bit of a rosy feel. Now that uh, the look is almost done except for the lips, um, having Vibha wear her glasses back, uh, this is how you would look or this is how she looks right now when the makeup is done. So um, for the lips, again keep it extremely muted. Uh, I have just applied a lip gloss for her and uh, you could even work with a Vaseline lip balm, that would also be fine. So since the focus is on the eyes, we do not need to uh, do much with the lips. So just keep it very nude, a plain clear lip gloss will work or even a lip balm would just be fine. I will leave uh, her lips just the way they are because they have an undertone of pink already and I've just applied a little bit of a lip gloss over it. Um, so this is how you would look if you choose shades similar to this. Make sure that once you're done with your entire day, I'm sure you will be tired, but make sure that you're taking it all off because makeup on your face ruins your skin terribly. So take it all off with a good makeup remover. You can invest in something that's really nice because again, we're talking about your skin, your eyes, your lips and your cheeks. Um, so those are your most important features right now. So, um, and even if you do not clean your face at night, you will not know how your skin is going to react after a few years. Initially, you might feel that it will all be fine, but even a small speck of kajal under your eyes would ruin your skin. So make sure you're taking it all off. And um, this is the office look. You can all try it and let me know in case if you would have any queries or questions and I would be most happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.